Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video. Well, I'm really excited about this morning's shave. I have something brand new to show to you from Vikings Blade. Their brand new adjustable safety razor. This is called the Emperor, and it comes in two finishes. This one is frosted chrome, and it also comes in a vintage bronze and cognac finish. These are twist to open, fully adjustable, uh, from one all the way up to nine. This is a thick handled, you could call it a fat handled razor. I'm really excited to see this. I took a peek. Uh, I'm going to open it up again really fully for the first time. Check out the packaging and the presentation on this. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous from the artwork to the branding that they have on this. Really, really nice and complete. Um, you could wrap this as a gift and someone got this. They would just absolutely be blown away just from seeing this artwork here. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And when you open it up, it comes in a case of its own and it has some gold lettering right there on top. Vikings Blade. The Emperor. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? And of course, it's got a little strap here. You open it up. And it has some information right on the lid and it has a card here an information card we can get to that a little bit later but there's the razor isn't that beautiful frosted chrome and there are no blades with this razor just the razor itself and look at that this thing is incredibly incredibly built i mean it's built like a tank it has an incredible amount of heft to it this is a thick, fat-handled razor. If you're looking for something like this, this is perfect. Now, it has adjustments from 1 to 9 on the collar. So it does have numbers. Unlike the Crusader that doesn't have any numbers, this one has numbers. It is twist open, and the frosted chrome is absolutely beautiful. The way you adjust it is the collar has a small little arrow on it right here. And I'm at number 1, right here. I'm at number 1. So all you do is just turn that collar and follow that arrow all the way around and you can, now I'm at number five here. Now I'm at number five. And then you just move it all the way around. Let's go all the way up to nine. And you'll see when it's at number nine, the doors are wider open. So you really open up that blade gap quite a bit. Uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful razor. And we're gonna shave with it this morning. And I'm really looking forward to shaving with this. So it is adjustable from one to nine. It's continuous. It's numbered. It's fat handled. It has great heft. It has that beautiful, beautiful patented Vikings blade razor head on it that gives such a great smooth shave. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It has that terrific knurling pattern on it. Uh, that's reminiscent of some of their previous razors. The Crusader to be one. And let me show you. Let me show you against. Let me show this to you against the Crusader. Here's the Crusader here, and here's the Emperor. You can see the Crusader is a little bit longer, and and the Crusader has the has the adjustable collar here as well, but it um, doesn't have numbers on it. It's more for a shaving enthusiast. But if you want something with numbers, the Emperor is that's it's there for you. Here it is against the Chieftain. The Chieftain. Look at that. It's a little bit longer than the Chieftain, and you can see it's got a more robust, larger diameter handle. And this thing really feels, I mean, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm just blown away at how much heft it is. I used to say that the Crusader was probably one of the heaviest razors I had. Uh, this, uh, by far, it sets a new bar as far as weight and heft. And boy, this feels so substantial in the hand. I, I'm just absolutely just absolutely uh, blown away and I'm really excited to use it because of the weight and the heft and all the other functionality of it. The adjustability, the twist to open mechanism. Wow. Let me show you against the, the Vulcan. Uh, here it is against the Vulcan and my gosh, almost as long as the Vulcan. And the Vulcan has some good weight to it, but again, this thing, this thing is, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous and it is built I mean, it is so solid. It is really, really beautiful. I mean, substantial, great heft. Let's let's get to the shave. I mean, I'm really excited about the shave. I'm going to be using a um, 
uh, a Paul Silver blade with this. Now I've been using the Paul Silver blade this week with my Crusader razor in preparation to receive this new Emperor razor. So I just want to kind of compare the same blade in two different adjustable razors from Vikings Blades. We're going to use the Paul Silver razor blade. We're going to kick it off with Vikings Blade Gentle Mint. Just a little bit of that. I'm going to use uh, Chella. Chella Almond Shaving Soap this morning. Uh, this is a crope, not really a hard soap, so we're going to go ahead and throw some hot water in there just to soften it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Get some hot water in there. Just a tad. Just a little bit in there. Put that over there. I'm also going to be using my Vikings Blade Fire Mare uh, Synthetic Brush. Uh, boy, this feels like a real badger brush. This is really nice and soft. Does a great job generating lather. I'm going to soak that in the water right now. Uh, we're going to finish it off with uh, an Ozma Alum Block. Uh, you know, to get those micro abrasions and knock down a little bit of irritation. Uh, and uh, to finalize things, uh, some Clubman Pinot uh, Bay Rum uh, aftershave. And for upstairs and maybe around the face a little bit, the Lubriderm 3-in-1 for men's. This has been great. I've been using this every single day and I've also been mixing it with uh, various uh, aftershaves if I want a little moisture on my face. Uh, just a little bit of... Um, that fragrance free uh, balm in the hand and a little bit of af my chosen aftershave whatever it is mix that up and you've got a kind of a scented balm to put on your face which is kind of neat all right so let me this is just let this all kind of set up a little bit here let me kind of clear the deck a little bit and i'll write that, be right back to start this shave really excited to use the vikings blade emperor adjustable razor. This is really, really a gorgeous, gorgeous razor. Okay, uh, hang on, give me five minutes to let everything warm up. Okay, I let everything kind of warm up, about the equivalent of taking a quick shower, about five, six, seven minutes, something like that. So let's get right to the shave. I'm going to wet my face and uh, get a little bit of pre-shave oil. Okay, I've got a really nice lather uh, from Chella, and I did a really good brush load, as you can see, and had a little, add a little water to my face. I wrung out a little bit too much from the brush, but a uh, really nice lather. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, load this razor and get it set up. Here's my Paul Silver Blade. Here's my, there's the Super Iridium Paul Silver. I'm just going to set it right there like that. Let me get my razor and just drop the blade and like that. Wow. Alignment is spot on. Blade balance is spot on. Alignment is spot on. Now the end, top, the end tabs do protrude a little bit, but that's not a deal breaker. The head is more maneuverable that way. Uh, and again, here is the, uh, the settings here. Uh, a very, very small indicating triangle or arrow here that points to the setting on the head. So all you do is move that ring and uh, you just go from one to nine. Now the top lid of that um, uh, box that, came in, that it came in, the case, top of the case has information about the razor. Uh, so there are nine settings. One, two, three are mild, four, five, six are medium, seven, eight, nine are aggressive. So we're going to start at, I'm going to go all the way up to about five and a half. That's where I'm going to start this, this shave. And then I'm going to move down from there because 
That upper end is probably gonna be far too aggressive for me. So here we go. I'm gonna put it under some hot, hot water. Boy, does this thing feel great in the hand. This is just, okay, I'm warming. Just give it a little twirl and some warm water there so this thing is up to temperature. This is a symmetrical razor head, unlike the Crusader, which is asymmetrical. So both sides are the same, identical on this Emperor razor. Uh, this thing, wow, a lot of weight. The razor is going to do all the work. All right, so 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh my gosh, is that a smooth shave. Wow, is that smooth. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's nice. I think I could probably open this up to six if I wanted to. Six or maybe even seven. But as you can see, I got a good, good thick coating of lather here. A lot of protection there. So, you know. So I think that that's maybe with a soap that doesn't have offer as much slippers and protectness. This is probably a good setting to be at, depending on the soap that I would be using. Uh, this is so smooth. This is so smooth. I can't believe how smooth this razor is. It's just unbelievably smooth. Nice almond scent from the Chella shaving soap. Wow, very, very nice. <laughs> what a great first pass. Let's rinse. The uh, Chella soap offers a lot of slickness, and I had just a wonderful, wonderful first pass. That is great. So we're gonna go with uh, pass number two here. I got plenty on the brush. Hang on, I think I got a little bit in my eye on that rinse, one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess, right? That was, first time out, that was a good setting. That was a really good setting to kind of test the water. So now next shave, I know I can go up a little bit with a similar soap. But <laughs> that first pass was close. Um, if I wanted to, with my skin and that setting at 5.5 and how smooth that was, if I had to run out the door, I'd be okay going to the office after that first pass. I'm not kidding you. The second pass, I think, is going to be glorious. Okay, boy, that's a lot of... The cello really is, has a lot of slickness to it. Really good cushion and, and uh, 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 complimented the... Uh, uh, the shaving oil very well. Uh, the shaving oil I'll use about three or four drops. Uh, so uh, sometimes uh, when you're doing a face lather, you got a little bit of oil there. Sometimes the soap and the the oil don't play well together, but uh, not with cello. Cello is great. Okay, so I am at um, I'm at about five and a half here. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna take it down to four. Okay, so here we go. Uh, setting four. 
We're going to go east to west across the grain. Second pass done, let's rinse. Well, <clears throat> I'm done. I'm done with this shave. This is, this is, oh, this is beautiful. What a beautiful shave that was. But you know what? Just for the fun of it, really, I'm gonna do a third pass. I'm gonna set it down at about level two and just see how much closer I can get. I mean, I, I, I mean I'm done, but I just, I, I so enjoy using this razor. This is such a beautiful razor. Again, it has this beautiful heft. It has this solid, solid build. I mean, you are going to be astonished when you first hold it in your hand of how great this thing feels. The Emperor. Oh, just a terrific razor. Now, this Chilla shaving soap has a lot of slickness. I mean, a lot of slickness. It really, um, boy, it was a good choice. I was trying to decide what I was going to use. I was going to use Tabak, Mitchell's Wolf Fat. Was I going to go with uh, uh, a super slick? I, you know, I wasn't exactly sure, like the Vikings Blade 6 AM. I wasn't sure. I decided to go with Chilla because I haven't used Chilla for a while. I used the um, Vikings Blade New York 6 AM yesterday with my Crusader razor in hand, an absolutely great shave. Uh, so I decided to go with Chella this morning uh, because uh, it uh, displays a little more lather on, on camera, on my face than a, a super slick would. So the new one, I decided to go that way. Now uh, I'm gonna turn this all the way down to, and by the way, I had a great shave yesterday morning with the Crusader and the Vikings Blade 6 a.m. Really, really, really nice. And I think my next shave with this razor is probably gonna be with the super slick. Okay, so um, I'm at four right now, so I'm going to bring it all the way down to two. I'm going to do my cleanup pass at two. So we're going to go south to north against the green. You can still hear a little bit of the cleaning up a little bit. I'm getting really, I'm getting really nice and close. But really, two passes, I was done. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, very, very nice. Wow, beautiful. Let's rinse. Wow, <laughs> that was that was spectacular. A spectacular razor. I'm gonna drain the sink and I'm gonna do my two final rinses. One cold, one warm, one cold because there is a lot of slickness on my face from the shaving oil and also from the actual shaving soap, Chilla. Boy, that's a nice, slick shaving soap. If you haven't used it, uh, give it a shot. Chilla, really, really nice stuff. Uh, made in Italy. Uh, okay, so here we go with my uh, warm water rinse. Took quite a bit to get all that slickness off, but wow, terrific. I mean, it feels terrific. 
Okay, cold, cold water rinse to close the pores. And I got some good cold water coming out of the tap this morning. Must be that cold weather we've been having in spring. Well, that is Northeast Ohio, isn't it? All right, here's my cold water rinse. Oh man, that's beautiful. I got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Oh boy. Wow. Boy, that, that's, a, that's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Wow, that is really nice. Well, the Osma block is gonna tell the tale. We'll see how much feedback we get. If we get any zinging, if we get any stinging, we'll know whether or not this was overly aggressive or if it was just right in the sweet spot. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna use the Osma block. Just run it under some cold water and run it across the face here. Smooth as ice. Wow. No zinging, no stinging. Really, really nice, smooth, close shave. Oh, wow, that was nice. Okay, we're just gonna pat that dry. And uh, pat it dry, get all the water off of it, and then just set it in my dish for uh, the next shave. Let it air dry, and it'll be all set for tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna let that set up, and I'm gonna do a little cleanup, and I'll be right back to finish the shave and talk a little bit more about the Vikings Blade Emperor Adjustable Razor. Uh, so hang in there with me. Absolutely love this brush. The uh, Vikings Blade Fire Mirror uh, brush. Just really, really, I mean, look. Look, I just wring it a little bit, run it a little water, wring it a little bit, and uh, give it some few vigorous shakes, and look, it's, it's nearly clean. Uh, terrific brush. Retains a lot of water when you want to retain a lot of water. Throws off the water when you want to throw it off. It just is so very, very responsive. It's a terrific brush. It fits nicely on the Vikings Blade Admiral razor and brush stand. This is a stainless steel razor and brush stand. This thing is solidly built. Like all of their products are just quality. So uh, it's going to sit there like that. And I'm going to finish it off with some... Clubman Bay Rum. Beautiful. Really nice. And again, there's no stinging. There's no zinging from the shave. Nothing like that. It's just the warmth of the... Um, aftershave. Okay, we're going to use uh, Lubriderm. Point is, is that I'm not, I don't feel any burning or any, any jolting from uh, the aftershave, anything like that. We're going to uh, use some Lubriderm for upstairs, just a little bit there from the pump, like that. Like that, a little bit of moisture there. And as I say, if you want to, here I'll show you, if you want to, this is really a nice little trick here that I learn from one of the forms. Uh, just a little bit of, uh, of uh, fragrance-free uh, aftershave balm, and you can get a little bit of your favorite aftershave and just put a little drop or two on that, like that, and just mix it together, and then it becomes a scented balm. Great shave, great shave. This razor is spectacular. This is a home run. Opening day is April 1st. This is a home run. This is an absolute home run. It has great heft, beautiful balance, wonderfully maneuverable. It has a precise razor head where the razor blade is perfectly balanced and perfectly aligned. It's adjustable from one 
to nine. That is beautiful. One, two, three is mild. Four, five, six is right in the middle. Seven, eight, nine is uh, aggressive. Beautifully, beautifully chromed with a, uh, a frosted chrome finish. Uh, again, as I say, it's got this terrific knurling pattern here, reminiscent of the Crusader. Not only the Crusader, but also, I forgot to show you this one, the um, Chieftain Junior. Same type of knurling pattern on there, which is really nice. Um, and this uh, Chieftain Junior has a lot of nice heft in the hand, too. But boy, you graduate to this, you can certainly feel the difference. This feels manly. It screams strength. It screams masculinity. It, uh, it just feels manly. The uh, adjustment ring is very smooth and continuous. It has some beautiful knurling right here on the collar. So if you're working with some soap uh, that is very, very slick like I did today, you don't have any problem grabbing hold of this and adjusting it. It is, it is very, very uh, grippy, so to speak. It's smooth and continuous. Adjusting it is absolutely no problem. The twist to open mechanism is beautiful and precise, right on the money. There's no chatter, there's, there's no lag. It's smooth, it's beautiful. This is well built. This is an absolutely stellar, stellar razor. And I had an absolutely beautiful, smooth, nick-free, cut-free, irritation-free shave with this razor. This is my new favorite adjustable razor. This thing is absolutely brilliant. It's gorgeous. All right, so um, that's it. That's the Emperor. I look forward to many, many more shaves with this razor with a variety of shaving creams and shaving soaps and blades. But I had an absolutely beautiful shave this morning. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, really, really smooth. I am looking forward to dyeing it up a little more and getting a little more aggressive with it to see how, uh, how my skin responds to it. Uh, if you're looking for an adjustable razor, check this out. With uh, dads and grads uh, coming up, right? Father's Day, uh, graduation, it's right around the corner, really. Uh, what a wonderful gift this will be. Uh, because it comes in a beautiful gift case like this. Again, the presentation is top-notch. All the information you want to know about what shaving for a, a beginner is right here on a little card and on the lid to quickly explain to you what's going on with that. Um, so that really is um, a big plus for a new wet shaver. But I, I certainly would uh, consider giving this as a gift to a uh, a new wet shaver because of its adjustability. You can go from a mild shave all the way up to an aggressive shave and everywhere in between. So if someone's new to wet shaving, wow, this is, this is a Mercedes. This is absolutely a Mercedes. This is absolutely the Mercedes. The Mercedes of the, uh, of the adjustable razor world. This really is. I can't say enough good things about it. I am just so absolutely... Uh, uh, blown away at how nice of a shave I got, how smooth of a shave I got. Really, really very, very nice. Um, so check it out. The Vikings Blade Emperor, Emperor. This is the frosted chrome. It also comes in vintage bronze and cognac finish. Comes in a beautiful uh, case. And uh, boy, it's just top notch. All right, that's it. Thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below. Let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.